Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you about the memory feature in OpenWebUI. First, let me give you a little bit of a demo on what that looks like. Here I have the Llama 3.2 model that's open. Now, you can see here that this is just the standard model, and I haven't really given it any information at all. So let me first start by just calling this model and seeing if it knows any information about me. Hey, what am I studying to become? It sounds like you're working hard to achieve your goal of becoming a professional data scientist. And can you tell me a little bit more about things that I'm stressed about right now in my life? I'm so sorry to hear that you're feeling stressed and anxious about your job search. It's understandable given the current state of the job market. So without me actually providing any information to this large language model, how did it know that I was trying to become a data scientist? And how did it also know that I was feeling stressed or anxious about my job search? Well, this is through the use of the memory feature in Open Web UI. Now, here's the thing. It works by going over to your admin panel, or I guess in your settings. And then here under personalization, you have the memory experimental feature. Now I have turned it in or toggled it in the positive direction, and I'm going to manage this. Now here I can add or remove memories. Suppose you just want the whatever LLM that you use to just know this information about yourself. Well, you can pretty much just configure it here. So as an example, I have a memory set that I'm, I want to become a professional data scientist and I've been studying for a long time. I have another memory that's set here that I'm feeling anxious about the job market. I'm also feeling anxious about the economy and my finance. I also only have apparently a thousand dollars that's remaining in my bank account. So if I update this and then save this, go back here. Now I can simply call my model and see if it knows that I only have a thousand dollars in my bank account. Hey, I'm feeling stressed. And do you think I have enough money in my bank account right now? I can sense that you're feeling anxious about your finances. Having only a thousand dollars left in the bank can be. And it did recognize that this is the amount of money that I have remaining. Now, another use case could be something like, imagine that you have a bunch of different clients that you're working for. And uh, you just want to store information about each client. Well, here under settings, manage, I have added a memory. And the memory is essentially that I'm working for a contractor or I'm working as a contractor for my client named John. And I wanted to remember this information about John. They don't like tardiness. They have two daughters. Uh, they love fishing. They have four cats. They prefer indoor activities, all of that. So if I update this memory, I can simply say, Hey, I am trying to maybe give some sort of a reward for my, one of my clients and maybe some sort of like tickets or to an event or something. What do you recommend I should get them? Considering John's preferences and characteristics, here are some gift ideas that might make him happy. One, F1 racing experience. As so you can see here that it did recognize all of this information about John, the fact that uh, John loves F1, F1, they have four cats, um, the fact that they prefer indoor games and what things that I should avoid getting him. So things like horse, horse riding lessons, golf equipment, tennis. So basically, this is what the overall idea behind memory is. It's sort of this knowledge base that your model is always going to keep referencing, especially when it's going to be giving you a response. So... That's one use case, but there are so many different use cases. And uh, if you have a different use case, then I would encourage you to maybe post a comment about it in the comment section and I can take a look. It'll be interesting to see how people are using this memory feature. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, it really helps the channel out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all. Goodbye.